Hello guys, Danny here, and today we're gonna see which are the best iPhone deals in the market currently. So we all know that some people go to school in August, others in September, some people start university in October, but before going back to school slash university, people are buying new phones just to say, hey, look, I got a new phone. And this is literally right around the corner because in the middle of September, Apple is usually releasing their new iPhones and they kind of get scammed by themselves because literally when a new phone is released, the old one gets a cheaper price. But what is the best and most affordable iPhone in the market right now? So you don't make a mistake by it. It's not too old, not the best of the best, but you can get all the best shots, videos, speed, capacity, everything you need in a phone. This is what we'll figure out and to do that we're gonna go through the line of the recent iphones see what their capabilities are and specifications so you don't make a wrong choice and spend a lot of money where you can get a device with simply the same capabilities for a cheaper price so right now let's go through the line of the iphones before i start with this i just want to say that Personally, I believe that everything from iPhone 11 and lower is already considered as an older phone and you might not want to get, yes, iPhone 11 is cheap, but to the level how from iPhone 12 to the last one, things have evolved and changed. I believe that you should be looking for a phone in this range. Don't get me wrong, literally when iPhone 14 was on the market, I was still rocking my XS before I switched to this phone. So... I will say it is a good phone, the speed is good, camera quality, but it really depends on what you want to do from your phone and also like it supports some updates but I believe that maybe the iOS 18 won't be supported by the XS models, maybe even the iPhone 11 so you know you need a slight upgrade but no one said that you have to get the best of the best. I like the iPhone 11, I never had it, I had a friend that had this phone before he switched to the same phone as me so i have to say it is a good phone by the time when it was released the best iphone on the market the best chip the best camera first time we had pro models which is something very interesting because they kept it until now but let's just say that for me i believe that this is considered as an older phone and you should be checking out from the iphone 12 till the iphone 50 pro max which is the latest iphone model First, I want to start with the iPhone 12 because I feel like this is where the iPhone started changing. First of all, in the design, it doesn't have the rounded edges anymore like the iPhone XS, the iPhone 11 and all the other iPhones down the line. It started having more rounded, like maybe kind of brick, which means that it's not gonna slip out of your hands. Yes, especially in these hot summer days, no matter how many showers you take, you still get a sweat and you feel like when you're holding your phone, it's getting sleepy. This is not the case, especially if you put a case on top. Yes, I have experienced this as well, trust me. And so far, I didn't drop my phone, which is a great thing. Another thing that has evolved the battery life, it keeps evolving any other iPhone. They have reduced the peak brightness, especially when you go out during the sun, you need a brighter screen to see what exactly is happening because you might get an important message and you won't be able to see it. We have now HDR3 for photos and it keeps evolving with any other iPhone, like the cameras, you have evolved the cameras for have better quality videos and pictures. Another thing is that it's the last iPhone to have 64 gigabytes as the starter options as storage. Everything else, every other iPhone gets 128. And recently the iPhone 50 Pro Max starts from 256, they even dropped the 128. So I would say the iPhone 12 is the beginner of the new era and I believe that you should start from the iPhone 12 if you're looking for a new phone because like you will get supported in at least the next two to three years. If you have been in my channel for a while, you know that I actually bought last September an iPhone 12, used it as a gift and I have to say that it's working great, there is no issues with it, definitely faster than the XS, even the 11 a little bit. So, it is the beginning of a new change. Moving on to the iPhone 30. Do you need to upgrade to a 30 when you have a 12? Probably not, except if you know what these small changes that Apple made. As I said before, Apple keeps updating their battery life. So yes, you do have a better battery life. You do have a better chip. Also, now we have four graphic styles. Basically, 
after you can take it a picture you can choose how it look like thanks to these photographic styles another thing is that now it doesn't have a 64 gigabyte storage option as a starter it started from 128 and a new thing when it comes to video shooting is cinematic mode if you don't know what it is let me demonstrate it to you change it go a little bit and this is what cinematic mode is basically it blurs out everything else except for me if i click there it blurs out me and focuses on this one clicking back and it's on me every time we use cinematic mode for a video or just to show something i'm like why don't i use it more often at the same time like i'm shooting behind of a white background so technically the blurring effect won't even show that much because how can you blur a white wall like literally won't be that noticeable in a video but this is one of the new things introduced to the iphone 13 that kept going on also macro mode is getting hyped up since the iphone 30 people comparing the 30 to the 14 and you see it shot insane pictures with this so yes the iphone 30 is definitely getting a step ahead of the 12 so if you were a content creator, you might have wanted to upgrade from a 12 to a 13. Growing up, we are going to the iPhone 14. What's that new thing in the iPhone 14 that makes it outsmart the iPhone 13 and make people buy it? Yes, they keep fixed the battery life, improved it even more. Yes, they keep updated the chip, they keep updated the photos, the camera, the video. But what is that thing that the other phones doesn't have it and want you to have it? We are introduced to action mode. If you don't know what action mode is, basically it stabilizes your video. For example, sometimes when you're going out, you're vlogging and your camera can go like this, you know, you're moving too much, you know, especially if you're doing a run or something and you don't want this to happen. Action mode can fix this. Basically, it stabilizes everything around you, like the buildings, the nature, whatever it is around you and makes it even better for you and for the viewer who is watching your video. So this is the one thing that the regular iPhone 14 can outsmart the 13. The Pro models got invented with something called Dynamic Island. So basically we got rid of the old school notch that nobody wants to hear about anymore. And we got to do the Dynamic Island. Basically you can do so much. You can set a timer, you can listen to music in Spotify and it will pop up right there in that Dynamic Island. And after that like you can just click on it pause the timer quit the song or change it to another one you can do so many interactions with the dynamic island and it's kind of making it built into the phone so that way the old school notch won't irritate you that much yes you might feel a little bit weird in the beginning but once you get used to it you won't even notice that it's there because when your phone is turned off like it's not on you barely even see it and another cool thing this is common with the update is that always on display so basically it's on but technically it's not on i keep turning this on because even though it's a cool feature i have to say that it's wasting battery life and i definitely don't need my phone always on display all the time if i thought it double tap and you activate it everywhere i need to know so yes these are the steps that made people rethink should it go from 13 to the 14. The last iphone in our lineup is the brand new not so bright because it could be a few but it's the iphone 15 so the crucial thing and the main difference that people were hyped up about the iphone 15 is that now it's usb-c we all know that europe kind of forced apple to go to usb-c because they used to be two individual chargers which are doing exactly the same job so individual you have first lighting and then usb-c and they said that these are too much devices for the environment so you have to make only once and you'll be USB-C. This is why Apple decided to put their iPhones in USB-C. Not only the Pro, all the models, including the regular. Another thing is that now the regular models have the dynamic island. It's not only for the Pro, you know, for the special treatment. It's all the iPhones have the dynamic island. So even users who don't want to get the Pro can experience this. Another thing which appeared only in the Pro models for now, that instead of the switch mute button that we have now we have an action button which is customizable and you can choose wherever you want it to be it can be a camera it can be a flashlight it can still be the switch button or you can give it a shortcut to something whatever you want to do personally i kind of like my switch button i'm with the 14 pro max and i feel like even if i had the 50 pro max with this action button probably it's still gonna be a switch because i kind of use this the most i have 
camera literally at the bottom so i don't think i'll be but these are the crucial things that happen with the iphone 50 and many people were like buy it because of the usb-c because they have to use one cable for all their devices the airpods are going usb-c except for the iphone of course their ipads are usb-c so you see apple is kind of going to usb-c slowly and maybe after two to three years all of their devices will be usb-c now and let's just say that they're kind of moving away from the lightning personally i like it i'm still a lightning person but let's just say that these are the days that people were questioning should i switch to the iphone 15 not only because of the action button not only because of the usb-c but you know they keep improving the battery life they achieve the same old things but you know it's getting better and better so which iphone is the best deal to buy right now and to answer the question which iphone has the best deal to buy right now my answer is either the regular iphone 13 or the iphone 40 you don't need the best of the best yes it's USB-C. Yes, the problem will have an action button. But do you really care about these things? If you're looking for a more advanced phone, I really would recommend the iPhone 13 Pro or the Pro Max because, yes, now they are cheaper. And yes, the difference between the 14 and the 13 Pro models, it's not that different. Yes, the 15 might got advanced a little bit, but do you know how much it costs? Yes, if you have the money, go for it. But we all know that. This channel, we are trying to promote something for people that are on average level like me. Yes, I talk about high-tech, expensive technology, but does this mean that I can afford it? No, I can't because my bank will say, oops, you don't have any more money left to spend on this. So we're looking for more something more affordable and that can do the same job. Again, as I say in every video, it really depends on what you do with your device, for what you're using it. I use my phone to film my videos and just, let's say, create content online. So yes, I do need a little bit better device, you know, have a better camera, you know, filming better pictures, taking better pictures, but you might not need this. So I really will say in the range between the regular 13 to the regular 14, yes, if you want a bit more powerful device, upgrade to the Pro, yes, now it's even cheaper because we have the 14 Pro, the 15 Pro, so you can get it at a decent price. Yes, if you want to experience that dynamic island, I will recommend you the 14 Pro models, they will really suit you the best. But if you're looking for a powerful enough you know, device that it's not the best of the best because that will cost hell ton of money, yes, I will recommend you from the 13 to the 14. I think you will be suited for life and that it's enough for your daily needs and that you don't need to have the best of the best to stay on top notch and post the best pictures and videos of yourself. Okay, guys, that'll be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what iPhone do you have right now, if you have an iPhone. And do you think switching from an Android to an iPhone, or maybe even the opposite, you're tired of your iPhone and you want to try an Android phone? As I have said in every single video, I have the 40 Pro Max. It's been two years already, so I'm not planning on changing it yet. But if the iPhone 16 kind of does something to make me change it, yeah, 16 is my favorite number, but it has nothing to do with the phone because I know how much you cost and I'm not sure that it has something that will make me change from a 40 Pro Max because I'm more than glad about it. The camera is amazing. The battery life is also excellent. So I don't have any complaints from my phone to make me change it, but we never know what might happen. So that'll be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button if you like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.